formula? Yeah. I drink it every day. It gives me a tremendous amount of energy. Thank you. This stuff is amazing. I really mean that. It's amazing. The entire program makes sense, and it works. It's like my American Express card. I never leave home without it. I take it every day when I wake up. I get energy from it. I recently started taking Paramine Plus amino acids and saw a significant difference in the gym. Just recently I switched to Jungle Juice and the difference has been extraordinary. I've been getting much better lifts and better pumps in the gym and uh, I recommend this for everybody. Welcome back folks to Alternatives to Health Hero Network's number one rated uh, cable health show. I know that first half of this uh, show was a little long with a tooth and at Hopkins and, and before, but it was necessary. Uh, we talked to you about uh, Mr. Mayo and all the trials and tribulations he went to, but the point I was trying to make was everyone that we've talked to, all the surgeons, all the doctors, all the people that took care of Mr. Mayo, including Mr. Mayo himself, and he'll be on here later to, as a testimonial, they attribute him surviving six surgeries in, over two, in just about two and a half weeks to alleviate his prostate issue. And I'm, I'm very happy and proud to say that um, they, they attributed to him drinking the Caramine Plus when, he, when his immune system was way down, when his strength was down, when his blood counts were down, uh, that and the iron supplements, all natural folks. So, I can't say enough about it, but this gentleman, uh, coming up next, is going to explain to you, he's an expert on L-Arginine, and part of what Mr. Mayo took, and part of the reason he's recovering so rapidly from all that surgery, is because of L-Arginine and it's, uh, the three, I call them the three musketeers, L-Arginine, l citrulline and l -orthanine. They do amazing things in the body, they help release and make, produce nitric oxide. Google that word, N-I-T-R-I-C, oxide, O-X-I-D-E. Incredible what it does in your body. Here's a specialist of mine. The American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to this edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. In this special edition of the American Health Journal, we'll dedicate the entire show to the leading cause of death among men and women, cardiovascular disease, which affects an estimated 60 million Americans. Today, we have the opportunity of introducing you to Dr. Louis Ignaro, the 1998 Nobel Prize winner in medicine. Dr. Ignaro was dedicated over 30 years of research in the discovery of nitric oxide's benefits in preventing and even reversing cardiovascular disease. The benefits don't stop there. It can also reduce high blood pressure, lower cholesterol, and age-proof your cardiovascular system. Dr. Ignaro will also explain what nitric oxide is, the important role of L-arginine and L-citrulline in boosting the production of nitric oxide, and also other necessary supplements, all the ingredients to a more healthy and better quality of life. Coronary artery disease occurs when there's an impairment of blood flow to the heart. The heart has its own circulatory system, and that circulatory system is called the coronary arteries. When people develop atherosclerosis or high cholesterol levels, this can result in plaque deposition, plaque formation in the arteries. And as those plaques grow and grow, they can obstruct the flow of blood. This can lead to a decrease in the flow of blood and therefore the flow of nutrients and oxygen to the heart to the point where wh when you need your heart during exercise or walking up the stairs or changing a flat tire or almost anything else if the heart does not get enough blood or oxygen it's going to feel pain due to ischemic damage that is essentially a heart attack. Nitric oxide is a uh, 
a chemical or a molecule, or you can even call it a hormone uh, that is present in the body, uh, which functions in certain specific ways within the cardiovascular system. It's our way of protecting ourselves, literally, against cardiovascular disease. It's a molecule, for example, that lowers the blood pressure. It's our way of preventing strokes and heart attacks. The arteries make nitric oxide for the purpose of lowering the blood pressure, improving blood flow to organs, because nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It widens or relaxes the arteries so that more blood can flow through. That's going to lower the pressure within the plumbing, within the arterial system. And again, it protects against the coronary artery disease because it can lower the bad cholesterol levels uh, and so on. So it's the body's natural way to protect against heart disease provided we make enough of it. Nitric oxide is considered to be a lifesaver because it's the body's natural way of protecting against cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer, not only in the U.S., but throughout the world. And so the body can protect against all of this heart disease by generating more and more nitric oxide. When nitric oxide becomes deficient, this is when the barriers break down, this is when the protection is lost, and the individual is very sensitive and very susceptible um, to heart disease. And again, nitric oxide is protective because it can keep your blood pressure down in the normal range. High blood pressure causes heart attacks, causes strokes, and can lead to atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease. Uh, nitric oxide can prevent all of these things. Arginine is an amino acid. There are uh, about 20 or so amino acids that are the building blocks of all proteins. Proteins that you eat and proteins that are in your body, like your muscle and, and skin and so on. And, but arginine plays a unique role in that arginine uh, is the one amino acid that the body uses to produce nitric oxide, okay? There are two amino acids that the body actually can use. One is arginine, the other is citrulline. But the primary amino acid which is converted to nitric oxide in the body is arginine. And it's very important, therefore, to maintain a, a normal, healthy levels of arginine at all times. Because when we develop certain cardiovascular and related diseases uh, that are characterized by a deficiency in nitric oxide, the main reason for the deficiency in nitric oxide is a deficiency in this amino acid arginine. So if you have too low a level of arginine, you're not going to make sufficient amounts of nitric oxide to protect your cardiovascular system against disease. And so arginine is one of those amino acids that you actually have to take in from the outside. That is, you have to include it in your diet. And we're lucky that so many different proteins contain arginine. But sometimes, even though we may eat healthy and eat normal amounts of protein, if you have a deficiency in arginine, you're not going to get sufficient amounts from the diet. So you may want to consider supplementing uh, your diet with extra arginine. Nitric oxide is something you cannot simply take from the outside. You cannot take it in a pill. You can't put it in a you know, in water or juice or anything like that because nitric oxide is actually a gaseous substance. It's a gas and it's very unstable. Uh, it doesn't last for more than a second or two. So you can't really take nitric oxide. What you can do though is you can take the ingredients that the body uses to make nitric oxide and you can take the ingredients that will stabilize the nitric oxide, prevent it from breaking down and lasting uh, longer in your body. And so you could do this by taking certain amino acids like arginine and citrulline, and then you can take certain antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, there are many other kinds of antioxidants. And so by taking these different ingredients, these different natural ingredients all at the same time, you will maximize your body's ability to make the nitric oxide. And so that's how you boost your nitric oxide production. In this next part of the American Health Journal, Dr. Rignaro tells us the benefits of using nitric oxide as part of our daily regimen of diet and exercise, as well as how you can learn more about his research, the age-proofing of your cardiovascular system, and his three-step plan to a healthier heart, which he explains in detail in his new book, 
no more heart disease. But first, we spoke with Dr. Andrew Myers about the role nitric oxide plays in our body. Nitric oxide is naturally produced by cells that line the arteries, and those cells producing nitric oxide help to control and regulate the blood flow throughout the body. So when the blood flow is regulated, blood pressure can be lowered, muscles can be delivered oxygen and nutrition much more efficiently. So nitric oxide becomes this important chemical mediator in terms of helping the body do what it was meant to do, to perform better, to function optimally, and in many cases, when you have disease or deficiency of NO, you see big problems, like high blood pressure or even heart disease. The benefits of nitric oxide are many, and they focus mainly in the cardiovascular system, but this also impacts on other systems as well. Because nitric oxide can keep your blood vessels healthy by increasing blood flow, what happens is that the nitric oxide makes sure that all the organs in the body receive the normal amount of blood and therefore nutrients and oxygen um, that, that's required. Uh, in addition, nitric oxide can interfere with the blood clotting process. And so it can uh, 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 prevent unwanted blood clotting. You know, when people suffer from a heart attack, in many cases this is due to a blood clot that develops in the coronary arteries that feed blood to the heart. Uh, by the same mechanism, when a person gets a stroke, this is generally due to the development of a blood clot in the cerebral arteries that carry blood to the brain. And so you don't want this to occur normally. The only time you want a blood clot to occur is when you injure yourself, you get a cut, and you want a clot to form because that forms a plug and prevents the excessive loss of blood. But you don't want those blood clots to occur in a normal uh, inside within an artery in the brain or heart. So nitric oxide is something we make to prevent that unwanted clotting of blood. When nerves stimulate different parts of the body, they do so by releasing a chemical. Well, the major chemical in the brain that is released from many nerves is nitric oxide. And this nitric oxide is well known today to facilitate memory and learning. No question about it. This has been shown in animals, it's been shown in humans. And what we've noted now is that in memory and learning disorders, particularly Alzheimer's disease, there is a deficiency, a marked deficiency in the formation of nitric oxide in those regions of the brain that regulate memory and learning. And in fact, a number of pharmaceutical companies are developing drugs that stimulate nitric oxide formation in those regions of the brain. And the early clinical studies show that if you boost nitric oxide formation in the brain, you can restore memory and learning. So I think there's hope for everyone uh, who's suffering from a memory and learning disorder. Not only does nitric oxide decrease the blood pressure and protect against heart disease and so on, but let's keep in mind one of the major effects of nitric oxide in the body, and that is to function as a vasodilator. This means it's going to widen or relax the arteries, and when that happens, of course, you're going to increase the flow of blood to the other end. Okay, well, we made an interesting discovery back in 1990 when we showed that the nerves that go to the erectile tissue of men and women actually release nitric oxide as the signaling molecule or neurotransmitter. And before we made that discovery, the neurotransmitter was not known. And if you don't know what the nerves are releasing to stimulate a function, it's almost impossible to develop rational drugs to treat a disease. And so once we showed that those nerves release nitric oxide, one of the pharmaceutical companies, of course, uh, developed a big program to look at that and study that. They extended my research further, and voila, they came up with the drug uh, Viagra, uh, which is the first orally available drug that's useful in treating impotence or erectile dysfunction. And so the way Viagra works simply is to enhance or increase the actions of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, which means it's going to widen those blood vessels and lower the pressure within the blood vessels. And it doesn't lower blood pressure if the blood pressure is normal. And that's the beauty about the natural substances present in, in our body. The nitric oxide senses when the blood pressure is abnormally elevated. And then it steps in to reduce that blood pressure back down to the normal range, not below 
normal. And it's the most effective substance we have in the body, the most effective hormone to lower the blood pressure and keep it out of the high range. And it's something that, that you want to do all the time. You want to have sufficient amounts of nitric oxide around all the time to keep that blood pressure uh, down because high blood pressure can lead to a heart attack. The single most common cause of cardiovascular disease is a persistent high blood pressure that the person does not control because that pressure against the arteries will eventually tear apart the cells, rip apart the arterial uh, cells, and this is going to cause irreversible damage to the arteries. This will start the development of uh, a plaque formation, cholesterol buildup in the arteries. This will begin to precipitate uh, blood clotting, which means you can get a blood clot in the heart, which can cause a heart attack. You can get a blood clot in the brain, which can cause a stroke. So nitric oxide is the body's natural way to prevent all of these things from happening. One of the most common causes of a heart attack or a stroke is the development of atherosclerosis, which is nothing more than an inflammatory disease of the arteries. And this comes about when you have cholesterol buildup. In other words, a bad cholesterol, uh, LDL cholesterol buildup will actually cause a change in the structure of the arteries. The blood will begin to clot. There'll be all kinds of debris clinging to one another. And this constitutes the buildup of, of plaque in the arterial wall, which can obstruct blood flow. And, and worse yet, if those plaques become disrupted for any reason, they can travel to different parts of the body and they travel to the brain, you can have a stroke. If they travel to the heart, you can have a heart attack. The way the body protects naturally against the development of high cholesterol is through nitric oxide. Nitric oxide functions to keep the balance of the various lipids in, in the arterial uh, system. So it helps to maintain the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol at, at healthy levels, okay? And so some of your very famous drugs, I, mean, I think everybody's heard of the statin drugs. There are many different companies that make different kinds of statin drugs, and they're great in reducing your bad cholesterol. Anybody who has a cholesterol level of uh, 250 or 300 or, 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 or higher, uh, after taking statins, sometimes that level could be reduced back into the 100 range. And the way those statins work is by stimulating nitric oxide formation in the arteries. So, you know, if you have sufficient amounts of nitric oxide in your healthy arteries, you don't have to take the statin drugs. Uh. I can't wait to get Mr. May up, but right now he's in Delaware recuperating. I get a phone call from him every day thanking me how gratifying, how pleased he is, how he's feeling. And he, he attributes it to the nutritional value of the Paramine Plus, feeding the cells, getting to the root. Don't make your kidney, don't make your liver, don't make your digestive system work so hard to get what it's really after to begin with, which are the things that make up you, the amino acids, the enzymes, the minerals. Don't make your body work for it. Give it a treat. Give it Power Mean Plus. I hope you have a great, safe, and healthy weekend, folks. Thanks for watching.